The following program is paid for by friends and partners of Andros Akwe Ministries International. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57. But thanks be to God who gives us. Give me this, this, this victory. Come on, stand here. Thanks be to God who what? Has given. Yes, sir. He gives you. So right now, as a believer, as a Christian, you are in possession of the victory. How do we manifest the victory? So that people can see it. So that we can enjoy it. Now watch this now. It says, thanks be to God. It starts the same way. Who always leads us in what? Triumph. Victory. And triumph are not the same. Put the King James, the original King James. Now thanks be unto God, which always causeth. He causes us what? Triumph in Christ. So he didn't give us triumph. He gave us victory. But he causes us to triumph. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hey, my goodness. Amen. Amen. Triumph. Literally speaking, I wrote a definition. You can check it up yourself in the Bible. It means to jubilate and to celebrate our victory. It is my celebration of victory that brings the manifestation of victory. That's why we, we read last week how, or two weeks ago, how Paul and Silas were in jail. And they were locked up in bonds. And what happened? They began to sing hymns. The word hymns is, they began to celebrate. A song of celebration. So while they were in chains, they began to sing, Jesus, now you be all God. Jesus, now you be all God. Every other God, now so, so, yeah, yeah. Every other God, now so so, yeah, yeah. They raise the volume. Jesus, now you be all God. Earthquake. To the foundation, to the foundation of the jail. Earthquake. Hallelujah. What happened? The manifestation of victory follows triumphing. Hallelujah. Jesus gave us an example to follow. Praise the Lord. Colossians 2 verse 15. Amplified. It's time to triumph. Don't moan. Don't groan. Don't complain. You don't get manifestations that way. Celebrate the victory. Dance about it. Hallelujah. Shout about it. And as you do so, you are diffusing the knowledge, the fragrance of what he has done. His goodness. His mercies, his nature, the victory we have in Christ, the majesty of God, the supremacy of God over every other God. Hallelujah! Amen. You must do this all the time. He leads us in triumphing. That means most of the time, if you are led by the Spirit, he pushes you towards thanksgiving, towards praising, towards worship. He, he pushes you towards it. He knows that's how he's going to get you to see your manifestations. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Look at that. Jesus disarmed principalities and powers that were ranged against us and made a bold display and public example of them in triumphing. Notice, it's a verb now. Over them, in, in him. And in it. So he triumphed. He celebrated. It means to celebrate. It means to testify. Talk about what Jesus has done for you. That's why we have a section for testimonies. What are we doing? We're triumphing. The devil hates it when you talk about what God has done for you. He hates it. The spirit of Python that we talked about last week hates it. When I talk about the goodness of God, how God delivered me, how God set me free. 
Then I start dancing about it. Amen. He starts having a panic attack. Because what am I doing? I'm focusing on God. In the realm of the spirit, what you focus on is what you draw from. So he knows as long as we're focusing on God, we stop drawing from him. We stop drawing his negativity. We stop drawing his disaster, his causes. We stop drawing from that. And we start drawing from God. And things start to change. We become positive people. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, these things are not difficult to. They are not complicated though. If you do it, it works. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Woo, my goodness me. Hallelujah. For more of Dr. Andy's messages and books, visit our website at www.thesummitbc.org.